Well, hey, I just wanted to welcome uh, everyone to another great show. Um, this is going to literally be out of this world if you get it. We're going to talk a lot <laughs> about awesome. some things that are very pertinent to us. That's fitness and beauty. How do we combine all this? And also the things that are most important here. We have an incredibly wonderful, beautiful guest here. This is Jim T. Charm, the walk star, and I'm with... Jim Meyer from Remax Gold, and we are thrilled to death because we have tracked down a wonderful, wonderful human being who is going to be talking to us today. Young lady, what is your name? Joanna Treylove. Great to be here, guys. Great to be here. Yeah, that is an awesome name. Jim, I like that name, Treylove. Well, we yeah. only work with people who have really, really cool names like Jim or Jim or Trey Love. Or Joanna, <laughs> which also begins with J. Joanna. Yes. Joanna, uh, we, in this uh, difficult time where people are locked up uh, and they can't go out and they're, uh, especially if a family might be kind of uh, battling each other uh, and it can be very frustrating. How do you suggest people go and kind of be on their own and learn how to meditate and kind of get inside themselves? Uh, do you have any tips? Oh, goodness, tons. And that's a great question. And it's honestly, even if you know it, I think it's something that you have to continually ask yourself. So that's probably the most important thing to say is not knowing is okay. Having that question come up in you is a wonderful place to be at. And, and like anything else in life, you've got to make a decision you want to do anything, right? Mm -hmm. And once you make that decision to do something, then everything you do that you schedule yourself and you provide opportunity for yourself to get in alignment with that success is where you got to be. So if you're going to decide that you want to meditate, the very first thing you got to do is create time and space to do that and finding a space that feels good for you, whether it's sitting up in bed when you first wake up, whether it's taking a time out in the middle of your day in a comfortable chair, whether it's going outside and sitting in the backyard in nature, whether it's laying flat on your back and grounding into the earth. Try a few things and then find out what feels good for you and then set time up every day to do something that's going to take time out of the world to tune into you. You know, she mentioned the word earth, which ironically enough, you know, uh, this is <laughs> earth and earth day, yay. But you that's know, right. I'm, you know, so so just so people get a little bit about your background, I mean, I, I know you mentioned time, love, and purpose are very important to you. And before we get to that, I wanted to mention, you talked about this uh, organization called the World Beauty Fitness Federation. Uh, yep. What is that and what is your connection with them? Well, the, the WBFF, we call it uh, the World Beauty Fitness Federation. Is that kind of like the BFF? <laughs> kind of, right? Okay. It's, the it's your best, best insert and assertion okay. of you. And it's a really amazing um, space in which um, the fashion and the fitness world merge. And you're able to use the two combined attributes to provide um, a face value for an audience to really connect with. And as we all know, people love to see things that are beautiful. We're visual, you know, communicators and learners on many levels. And so when we take those times and spaces to become the best versions of ourselves, we provide our beauty, our beautiful. And beautiful is different for everyone. You know, hence the phrase, beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. And to see something from the internal value as it's externally given and received is a whole next level experience. And so when people are working really diligently on their fitness and their health and their wellness, they're really bringing out the best versions of themselves. And therefore, when they meet with something fun like fashion, it really kind of accentuates and brings vival you know, vivaciousness and vitality to all of it. And people love learning from those vessels. Great. And you know, putting that together, just uh, getting a chance to connect with you a little bit, preparing for this, uh, it's very clear you really care about yourself, meaning your health and also others as well. Um, yeah. You care about the earth. <laughs> and so yeah. the, the whole thing, um, you know, time, love, and purpose. When I asked you what was most important to you, why is time, love, and purpose important to you? Well, 
for me, time is the greatest investment I can ever make, whether it's time for myself, uh, time for meditation, time for someone else, uh, time to just create space to be and to grow and to learn and to rise. But you've got to make the time in order to experience any of that love or purpose, right? And sometimes the moments in which you are not expecting anything, those moments in which you're just in the fully present moment, those are the best times of our life. So Great. time, time well, is awesome. a really big deal for me. Mm -hmm. awesome. Now, what about uh, you were, you're currently uh, wearing the crown of Miss West Coast USA, right? Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Wow. Okay. So um, Miss West Coast United States has been a, a character I call that I have um, spent the time investing in over the last year. And she's a remarkable young woman that is inspired by the gift of service. Um, I think the hardest part of her job is in fact wearing a crown. Um, a crown in which I have realized is more than just a symbol of hierarchy or title. Uh, a crown to me from what I've learned in this, this, um, this character, this investment of time is something that I think we all have so much regard and ability to wear. You just got to step into your power and take on the role of someone that can provide service and inspiration. And once you realize that you're capable of that and that mm. each and every one of us are, it's, it's one of the most empowering, uplifting moments ever. Because as soon as you do it, as soon as you uplift and step into that power, you're turning around and grabbing someone else's hand and saying, come on, this is great, let's do this. So yeah, Miss West Coast United States has been one of the roles of a lifetime that have taught me how to step into my power, how to give from a place of purpose and use my time in love. You know, one thing I wanted to ask you, so um, I actually work with a couple of uh, pageantries professionally. So which pageant is this uh, representative of? It's the United States pageants. It is the United States. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's significant. That is Indeed. really good. Yeah. I can see. I can it's see. Incredible it's incredible because the, the young women, uh, you know, I shouldn't say uh, women of all ages. And I mean, little tinies to, you know, women that are just even older than me, all ages. It's the common thread of service. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, as a young girl, when I would watch pageantry, I would only see the beauty, right? And the glamour. And, Correct. And um, I didn't understand like I understand now that the beauty is in knowing what they're doing that's changing our world. The beauty is in knowing what commitment people are giving to serve and provide their hearts, their souls, their time, their love to give and to make this world a better place just by being who they are. And we all have that capability. It's, it's, it's not all it's just about talking about world peace. No. It's actually you going out and doing things. And I believe you're, you're very active as far as, as volunteering yeah. and helping other people. Can you tell us a little bit about the things you do? Well, I mean, one of the, one of the greatest ways that I, in a sense, wear my crown, right, and step into that place of empowerment, I work as a doula, and I volunteer at Jacobs Medical um, you know, Hospital in La Jolla, and it's a volunteer-based uh, service job in which when a mom is going into labor, the hospital then calls one of the volunteers and I go and can spend anywhere from two to 40 hours with someone I've never met before, completely there to show up, to inspire their greatness, to inspire this uh, container in which they can let go of their fears and they can let go of anything that's holding them back other than from just letting their body open and love while their body is giving birth to a baby. Mm. And uh, it's things like that, that, you know, people are serving and doing all day long that CNN isn't talking about. <laughs> mm. exactly. And, and they're powerful moments. And, and I'm just one of many volunteers that show up and, and provide nothing more than time mm -hmm. and patience and your heart and, and faith, you know, and believing in another human being and, and, and coaching them to be what is needed in that moment to provide greatness. Yeah. Well, you're doing some good things to really make this world 
a better place. Yeah. Um, kind of like Michael Jackson, that song, you know, talked about make us a better place. Um, That's right. You know, what, what, what do you want your life to mean for others? You know, what, what do you feel like you were brought here to do in terms of just, uh, you know, things that you do? You deal with beauty, fitness. Sounds like you, you, you do stand for world peace, I'm sure. And uh, really making the world a better place. So uh, what, what do you feel like uh, your calling is and what, what do you want your life to mean? Well, you know, it, uh, it goes back to those three words that I shared mm -hmm. with you, you know, earlier, time, love, and purpose. And I know there are days when I feel tired and I just want to, you know, crawl up in bed and, and mm -hmm. not give anything. And even in those moments, I know that I need to rest and to take good care of myself because mm -hmm. the world's going to call upon me tomorrow when I have more energy. And I share that story because it all comes down to self-love. And I really think mm -hmm. that it's my calling to trigger that in others. And sometimes triggering that is, doesn't always make them real happy with me because mm -hmm. a lot of times we want to hear what we want to hear and not some things that we need to hear. But when we are called to do things, sometimes um, our, our self and our being the story that we provide ourselves, how we take care of ourselves is what our calling is. So I really feel that in fulfillment of taking care of myself and understanding things like philosophies, like, you know, earth's medicine and yoga and yeah, 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 yeah. And having purpose and time, like lots of people don't wake up and know these things, right? Yeah. Some people learn things about science or math, like we talked about, and all of those things have purpose and those are callings. For me, I was chosen to learn these things. And so therefore I allow that knowledge. Sometimes I stop asking why I'm supposed to learn this or why I'm so passionate about it. And I allow it to happen and just use me as a conduit of that information use me as a trigger to provoke and evoke that in others. And I find that in doing that, you find out what motivates people, what gets their attention, what their why is. And that not only does that kind of um, fulfill my purpose, but it helps unleash that in others. And mm -hmm. so that is my, um, what fuels me the most these days is helping others find their purpose within themselves and then use that to love and serve, which not only contributes to the healing cycle of life, um, but it uplifts and expands us all. Wow. So, so uh, you're actively basically teaching yoga and meditation and different uh, ways of getting in touch with yourself and, and creating a better life for yourself. Um, how, how do you find your clients normally? Well, I think they find me. I mean, um, you know, I wear many different hats, as, as you've heard just in a short conversation, from Miss West Coast to a doula, to a personal trainer, a yoga teacher, a life coach. I mean, a mom. I could rattle off a ton of stuff that mm. are just words and titles, right? right? And I don't mean to minimize those words and titles, but at the end of the day, if you said, what do you do? You know what my answer would be, my, my real truth? Uh, you, you share I, love. Yes. I pray with people. Okay. And a lot of times people go prayer and, and yeah. people think prayer itself is a limiting thing, but the prayer isn't on a religious state of mind. Hmm. The prayer is a faith based. Mm -hmm. And when you unleash someone's purpose and you find out what gets them going, right. Mm -hmm. It's really what's triggering their purpose and what's triggering their, their faith. So once you know what someone believes in, then you know how to motivate them. You know how to keep them aligned with that faith. And so a lot of things that I do in my life with all these different titles as a teacher is to um, support their alignment. And alignment doesn't mean connecting with others. It means staying in a space that feels really good for you and keeping that truth and knowing that when you're in that space of alignment, because it's what you personally believe in, everything you need will be attracted to you without you having to go and insert yourself anywhere. It's called, you know, um, a law of attraction versus doing and inserting, 
right? Mm -hmm. So when you just be who you are and you stay in that state of those ingredients, you're fulfilling that and getting everything that you need. And that's why things feel easier, effortless, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's what I think I do. I wear, I wear a hat of, mm -hmm. of, of being that trigger, that, that, you know, that slingshot where you pull it back. I'm the person that pulls it back. And the people are the arrow, the launch, you know, it's just, I'm just that person that pulls it back so that someone can launch. Wow. And, and which is very important because some people could be lost for an entire lifetime and never have that help. And yeah. Like you well, and I think that that's, yeah. that's why it's easy to, to, ha to wear many titles mm -hmm. because it's the same role. I'm just doing it within a bunch of different name calls. So, mm -hmm. so, so someone's faith and someone's prayer might be in working out. Right. Someone else might find mm -hmm. it in meditation. Someone else might find it in business. Someone else might find it having a baby, right? We all do it in different times in our life. You just got to be there and be ready mm -hmm. when someone's yeah. ready to awaken. All right, here's a question. There's there's the law of attraction and there's the law of vibration. What are the oh, wait, wait, are stuff. we ready for that? Okay, yeah, yeah. 100 yeah. points. Let's do it. Well, yeah. 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 You went there. You yeah. went there. I'm so excited. You went Let's there, man. It. The power yeah. of you know, 2.0. Yeah. yeah. This Go is ahead. good. You know, take a moment. You know, by the way, I think the power, you see the, you see the shirt? The power surges on the shirt. You notice that? <laughs> Look at that. This is just and if you can just, see my shirt, this is the power of vibration only. and everything. This is incredible. Wait, this is this is really getting deep here. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Let's see your shirt. Uh, we can't see you got too much hair. It says dreaming. Dreaming. Awesome. Good vibes only. Oh, very Aww. good. All right, good vibration. That's right. Say. Okay. Yes. So what's the answer to the question? Well, I think it's a different answer for everyone. Uh -huh. And this would just be mine, right? I think a vibration is an energy that feels, <laughs> okay? And so let me say it to this. So when, when someone is in, is in a space where they want to achieve a goal, so give me an example. What is a goal currently in your life that you want to achieve? And don't, uh, don't think it has to be, you know, dream. Give me a big dream. World peace, uh, world peace. Let's go for world peace, Jim. Um, uh, uh, domination of the planet through uh, nuclear, using nuclear weapons. World peace. Okay, I'm going right, to stick with the world peace. I'm going to stick with the world peace. That's too easy for you. I'm You're part of a pageant. So, I mean, no, this is great. Okay. So I just completed uh, on, that's kind of where we all found, found our center of alignment. Mm -hmm. Through um, the last 30 days, I just completed 30 days of wellness. And in those 30 days, I provided mindful, like, um, just a mindful blog, you know, wrote about things that were just things for people to think about to create awareness, um, gave workouts for people that really find their connection for working out. But then I also did a midday meditation. And it was at 222 every day. And I found that that was the grandest place to connect and all of the things that I provided that was the one space that most people we're wanting to connect. And in that time, it was maybe a 10 or 15 minute tune out of the world and tune into yourself moment. Mm. And it was in which you could create conscious collective awareness. So what I asked is that when you tuned in for the first few moments to align yourself with a relaxed state within yourself so that you could just feel how you felt without all the worry and the concern and the stress of what was going on from your day, assuming that you were having that, right? And letting go of any overly joyful moments, just, just kind of being in a very like simple vibration of now without any extreme highs or lows. And then we transmuted that energy into a collective consciousness so now if we could attune to all of our vibrations at the same time in peace, seeing our world at peace, seeing our world in a wellness, seeing and feeling our world in a good space that feels good. If we all spent the same time every day for the next 30 days, the whole world, however, how many people are in our world? Uh, Seven billion. Millions of people and many of them are Asian. Yeah. If you could do, if you, we could take those 7 billion people and every day 
this pandemic made us all stop and just attune into a vibration of peace, it would shift our world immensely. So when we talk the That's difference true. between vibrations and manifesting, you can't manifest or get anywhere until you allow yourself to be in that vibration. But the tricky part is you have to allow yourself to be in the vibration before you even have it. Uh -huh. So therefore you have to start seeing it and feeling it and being with that energy before it even happens. Cause that's wow. the longer you're in it, the more you're creating it. Yeah. That makes sense. So what, what did come first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> so I see this is a cycle here. You know, what you're talking about pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Pretty, you know, Joanna, you, you, we think that he's listening to us. We think that he's learning, but maybe at 2.22 a.m., it's all going to pop up into his head and he's going to say, oh, those were some deep thoughts from Joanna and I learned. So have a little it faith that way sometimes that eventually Jim will listen because he usually <laughs> doesn't listen, but there's a, a there's usually yeah. a 12 hour lag time. So yes. yeah, yeah. You so, just gotta have faith. Well, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. of <laughs> my avocado and world peace. All right. Here, here's the thing: <laughs> if he's not getting it, I know he's making a uh, guacamole somewhere. Yeah, um, that's a good thing. That's a good feeling too. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that wrong is. with guacamole. Not, nothing at all. We are not. You just gotta get in that. the vibration of feeling good. Whatever that's it right. Means that's to right. Because I'm yeah. feeling good. Yep. So um, yes. there we go. Hey, you know what, Jim? I, I was watching her real quick. That's a J. Look at that. Look at that. The J. Yeah. You also have a cup. Hey, you showed it early. You got to show it now. Uh, if is... anybody wants a Remax Gold okay, Meyer wait. Team mug, just call the phone I number. Have one of those. You, you gave me one of those on yeah, my radio show. Text that text with your address. 707-580-5391. Okay. Yeah, send me a text. Call that. Address. Tell him. While tell him. Jim last, I will. Kong. Refer him awesome. so he could give me a commission. <laughs> no, actually, um, I mean, he, he's actually a, a pretty awesome uh, realtor. Um, um, but but the whole thing is is bringing world peace is all about the J's, right? All about the J's. Dotting your eyes, crossing your T's, and what do we do with the J's? We have joy. Very oh, good. Oh my goodness! And we just do it. And of course, <laughs> you're gonna say, Jim, what? I'm going to say, yeah, Joanna had something to say, and I'm going to listen to her. Well, joy is one of the highest vibrations we can hold in love. Ah. So that would be a practice, I would okay. ask, if someone was working with me, is to really understand what the word joy means and to practice being in that vibration. And if you yeah. only focus on being in that vibration of joy by itself for maybe the next seven days, 10 days, pick a number. And that's your focus. I definitely guarantee with everything I have in me, you will be a different person for it. But it's where you put your focus on that grows. And sometimes we put our focus on stress, anxiety, or, yeah. you know, the do's. That's true. That's true. Joy is a being. Yeah. What you're saying, like what you focus on, you attract, right? I do believe that. Definitely. I'm not yeah. necessarily a woo-woo person, but Jim, I have some things I want you to focus on for the next seven days. No, this is this is awesome. I love I'm, this I'm discussion. I'm focusing on a client bringing in their deposit for a piece of real estate they're buying. So <laughs> yes, really, yes, that's it. Think, joy, I'm just going to imagine that he's yes. walking into the title company. He's bringing that check. Mm -hmm. He's handing it to them. And yes. then they actually deposit it and the money actually is in his account and then it's in their account yes. and the rest is history. Well, well, you know, yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it baby. Yeah. Yes. And you know, also working in retirement space and, and, and insurance, I'm viewing that the world would be better if we really protect our families and we made good guacamole. By the way, this avocado is like perfectly right for that. Just, Want to make sure you're aware of that. But no, no, this this is a great discussion. I appreciate and, and the things that you here's what yeah. I'm gonna throw you a loop on. What if what if what if I said to you that money, that check, mm -hmm. it's just energy. Right. So when you're when you're thinking of vibration and energy, right? What if I said to you that it's all just energy? So when you're getting yourself in that vibration up right. here and now uh -huh. you're you're holding your space in perfect alignment for you attracting all of that energy in abundance 
Yeah, absolutely. And it's you not know, with, for me, with the it's, right it's clients, the, the clients yeah. that are showing up ready and available because right. they are also in alignment attracting you. Right, yeah. exactly. And we want the buyer to be happy. We want the sellers to be happy. We want everything to work in alignment so that we have a peaceful transmit yeah. transition of ownership from one to the other. And it starts with that garbage darn deposit. Well, well you know, and it's so true because it's uh -huh. time, purpose, and love that you just talked about. Right. You yes. want to make sure that their time is worth the investment, Absolutely. that everyone's in a good place in their heart, and they're loving every bit of their profit. And there's purpose to it because if you have those three things, everybody walks away with a really good energy exchange. And then they're going to tell somebody else about you. And you're going to tell somebody else about them. And then we're uplifting and expanding. Absolutely. Well, you know... This is this is this is really um, exciting, and you know, for those of you that are listening, I know that uh, you know there's a lot going on right now, and I, I mean, just talking to you, Joanna, made me feel good. But I love the way you shared some of these things. There's a lot of nuggets of wisdom here if you review this here, and you know, um, this whole concept of just uh, you know beauty, fitness. We we talked really about just uh, energy itself. And, and I think it's a good way of looking at things and, you know, how's your energy out there? You know, I, I just want to encourage you that uh, I think what you're saying also, if we give away good vibration, you know, just by doing good, it can make really a whole difference. And, you know, when I think about the world, <laughs> it's really great that, that uh, we have an opportunity right now globally to be focused in on how we can all really be unified, understand we are all really just people right now. And the decisions we make collectively could be the key of what we're learning through this experience. So this is brilliant. Now, before we end out here, I just wanted to see, uh, uh, Joanna, are there any final thoughts that you have to give to the people? Well, you know, one of the ways that I'm contributing in this world right now is with a nonprofit that I just opened called IamLove.org. And it's purpose driven. Uh, the premise of what this nonprofit provides is an opportunity to find your purpose and to use what you know from a place of knowing. So if I'm going to provide, if I'm going to volunteer and I'm going to serve and I'm going to go and teach math, but I don't really know a lot about math, but you said you needed a math tutor. That's not serving from a place of purpose. I'm just showing up because you asked me to, which is mm -hmm. a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. But if I show up and I come there to teach energy or fitness or yoga, those are places in which I know, right? So when I get there, I'm going to have so much more to provide to somebody that needs that. So I Am Love is a platform for people to use their place of knowing and to heal first and foremost from knowing what it feels like to serve. And then once they're fulfilled, to then uplift and serve others that are in need. And we provide service to uh, an array of things from survivors of sexual abuse um, to uh, advocating for education and um, uplifting personal development to providing doulas uh, during births and even to understand how important rescue dogs are in this healing process and what that can do for another human being. Wow. So it's kind of all over the place, but it, it's, it's definitely a platform that serves our world. Um, and it's not limited to anything unless you are. <laughs> can you give us a website again, reference, so sure. that people can get it? Sure. Uh, love. Love is spelled L-O-V, like the okay. last three letters of my last name. Uh -huh. So it's I am love, I-A-M-L-O-V dot org. Okay, I am love. Great. Well, I think that is beautiful. Jim, any final thoughts here just from today? Well, Joanne, if somebody wanted to uh, be um, instructed by you, do they, do you, do, are you doing like Zoom consultations right now? Yes, I just finished 30 Days of Wellness, Wellness was, which was a free dose of mindfulness from mm -hmm. love. And I think and... that's how I found you. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'll be starting up um, a daily dose of love in the next couple days, um, and it will be an eight-day challenge to um, self-love. So yes. a dive into one's heart uh, through all different modalities of uh, holistic healing, spiritual arts, and health and wellness, including the fitness arena that we all are infamously indulgent in. And believe me, I need a lot of help. My inner child just called CPS on me. Yeah. 
So um, <laughs> you're yeah. laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> no, I, I giggle with you because I understand mm. what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I so think it's a great play. It's very embarrassing. Um, okay, so, but seriously, folks. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you right now, um, how do they find you? You can find me at andexhale.com. Awesome. How do you spell that? <laughs> and exhale.com. So oh, and excel okay and excel.com wait, wait a minute let's just take a minute take a nice deep breath in and exhale wow. and you just that's, i get it that's I, how you find me yeah that's brilliant <laughs> and that's why you one are, are part of participant of the world beauty fitness federation also represents in the united states pageant what was your position again miss what west coast you? united states Miss West Coast. And that's why we don't wear that crown. We need to learn to do some great things and exhale. Exhale. So anyway, I, I am all about making the world a better place, but this has been uh, really enlightening and also very in inspiring as well. So uh, we want you to be able to just stay, stay tuned for more, uh, more information that you can really get about how you can do your part during this time, uh, right after the pandemic, how we can truly make the world a better place. This is Jim T. Chong, the walk star, and I am with Jim Meyer from Remax Gold with our very special guest, Miss Joanna Treylove. Great, and that, don't even tell me how to spell it. I don't even know how. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye. See you next Friday on The Power of Jim. Peace. <laughs>